Hello and welcome to today's video. So this is my newer laptop. Uh, this is running 64-bit Windows 10 and we're going to attempt to do the same thing with the USB to serial adapters that we did for the uh, Windows Vista 32-bit machine. Um, another USB shootout. We're, we won't test the um, HC340 because we know that doesn't work. Uh, so I've got the prolific USB to serial adapter plugged in right now and it's plugged over the drive. You'll have to excuse the mess. Um, yeah, <laughs> I need to clean my workbench. But uh, I'll go ahead and um, get up device manager here. So we can zoom in and we can show that COM1 is definitely prolific USB to serial adapter. So go ahead and close that and in order to run if I were just to bring up my Versa directory here, uh, if we want to run Monlog, it just says this app can't run on your PC. Contact the vendor. Well, they don't have any new software available. Um, even if you come in here and you can troubleshoot compatibility and then troubleshoot the program and say this program worked on an earlier version. And then you say the version was Windows XP. Actually, well, we can save Vista because we know it worked on Vista. We click test the program, and yeah, it's still nothing. Doesn't doesn't launch. Um, no, it. <laughs> yeah, report the problem to Microsoft and check online now. So that we know that won't work. Uh, we've tried that before. That doesn't work at all. Uh, so our next best thing is to install. If you're just, you might have already noticed it up here in the corner, uh, DOSBox. So DOSBox is designed to emulate an old x86 PC, runs DOS, and pretty much lets you run things that wouldn't normally be run on modern PCs. And it was designed for games, but, um, yeah, running many old MS-DOS games, but it's not restricted to running only games. In theory, any MS-DOS program should run. There are limitations, there are problems, but we're going to go and see if we can get that to work. So if we run DOSBox, and I've got it all set up. I'll show you my config file probably in the next video, and um, so you can copy it. So I only have COM, COM2 is not hooked up, so that's why it fails on COM2. So i got COM1 uh, up and running. And if we flip over to here, we go to, I've also mounted, you can see my Bursa directory is now the C drive. So if I come in here, switch over there, you can see that I've only got those programs on there. So we'll change over to Monlog. And then we're going to go ahead and try running it. Underscore E. And we were COM1. So we hit go and we're waiting for the connection. I'll go ahead and flip the drive on and we'll wait and we're already getting serial errors so probability of it working is very low yeah see it's not it this doesn't work so unfortunately the prolific USB to serial adapter does not work and then we just time out never saw a connection and uh, I've tried this a few times and I have not been able to get it to work with it so that's it for this video and uh, in the next one we're going to try the FTDI and see if we can't get that one to work so anyways thanks for watching bye